So after decluttering my entire closet about 500 times on YouTube, this has been a very requested video. The big question everybody's asking themselves. Today I'm going to go through what's left in my closet and the kind of the closet essentials in my opinion. It's not necessarily the essentials for you or for anyone else, but for me, I feel that these are the items that I really do need in my closet. Maybe there are one or two items that I'm still searching for or that I'm missing right now for it to be complete, but I'm pretty, pretty set with what I've got. I think I have about three or four categories of clothes left. Uh, the first category are the ones on this rack right here. And those are more or less the wear outside of the house or apartment clothes also known as keep rascal away from these clothes, clothes. He drools and hairs on everything that I own, and I've tried to keep him away from these clothes to the best of my ability because these are also clothes that are a little bit more expensive, a little bit nicer, um, and I don't want to wash them all the time. So that makes it even more important to keep his drool away from them. <laughs> on this rack, I also have two subcategories, which is like high-end casual wear and then high-end fancy wear. So those both go on the rack. And then I have three, I would say three, different piles as well. One of them is wear around the house, which is super casual, sweats, Rascal can drool on them all he wants, even though I prefer not to, but I'm not gonna make an effort to keep him away from those clothes. So it's basically sweats, clothes that are so hairy, not even the washing machine can get off the hair. I can't be bothered to make an effort to get away the hair. You get it. I have a dog, he has hair, you get it. So I have super casual wear, and since I work at home, this is what I wear most of the time. And then I have pants, of course, because you need pants, or you don't need pants, but I need pants. And then I have the last category, which is like seasonal wear, which is like shorts, dresses, skirts, etc. that I don't wear right now. Okay, so as you might be able to tell, I have like two items here that stand out. Um, I decided to only keep grays, black, white, denim, blue, and like beige colors, but I do have two bright colored shirts. And these are the only shirts with bright color that I own at the moment and that I plan on owning. I also have this, uh, which is kind of like a flannel from Ralph Lauren. And I don't count this as a colorful shirt since it's kind of flannelly and it's still, I feel like it has a more earthy tone than these bright t-shirts. I wear this all the time, it's a classic must have for me. To start from the back, I have one denim shirt, blue, casual, a little bit oversized. It's actually a men's men's shirt, so it's a little bit oversized and not like figure sewn or anything, but a denim shirt from Wrangler. And then I have two blue shirts, different shades of blue. This one's Ralph Lauren and this one is Gant. This one is a little bit more dressy, this one is a little bit more casual. I love the fabric on this one, I don't know if you can tell, um, let's see, uh, not really, but it's really like soft, I don't know, it's such a comfortable casual material, while well, this one is more classic shirt material. And then I have another blue shirt, <laughs> but this one is striped from Philippa Kua, um, it has tiny tiny, let's see if you can see, tiny white stripes on it, a little bit more dressy, but can also be casual, good. Here we have two casual white shirts, one from the Tommy Hilfiger and one from Calvin Klein. I absolutely love this Calvin Klein top, it's so comfortable, such nice quality, love it. And I have this white shirt from Philippa Kua with this really nice black stripe on the side. This is a shirt I've talked about before, hair on my lip. Uh, it's a shirt I've talked about before because it's really difficult to get on and off without getting makeup all over it because it's so tight and it's not stretchy at all, that's what makes it difficult. But I really do love this shirt. It's such a nice detail that has this stripe, and I don't know, I just really like it. And then we have a Dagmar sweater, basically. Beige, absolutely love. Works for all occasions. And we have another blue shirt, but this one is dark blue, um, a little bit more like a blouse, and it has tiny, tiny puppies on it. I like to say it's tiny rascals. 
I pretend that it's tiny rascals, although <laughs> all the dogs are missing rascals huge ears, but no one has to know that. And then we have a Benetton striped shirt. Very casual and nice. I'm not a huge fan of stripes, um, but I do like this shirt um, with a pair of red lips and some nice hairdo. I guess it's a little bit classic, I guess. I don't know. And then we have two jackets or suit, suit jackets. One from Philippa Coa, which is my standard one that I wear when I need to be fancy for some reason. Um, and this one is from Chiquel. Yes, I show you this in the haul. Um, an oversized jacket. And then we have this very, very basic black dress from Philippa Coa. I wore it at Christmas for the first time. I bought it like two years ago. <laughs> um, and I, I love it. It's, it's a perfect dress and I feel like this is what I'll wear to all the funerals I'll ever go to. And I have a black sweater with zippers on the side from Koss. And we have two shirts. Not really the same thing, but this is a regular gray t-shirt from Acne. Love it. And this is a Philippa Coa, kind of like a whatever fabric that is. And last but not least, we have two more sweaters. <laughs> One from Philippa Coa, that's just their plain basic black sweater that's perfect to wear over shirts and have the collar sticking out or just t-shirts or whatever you want. And my beloved Burberry sweater that I love so much and that sadly, <laughs> as you can see, probably, can you see? Yes, there's hair all over it. So those are all my fancier, high-end, Official dressy blah, 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 blah. clothes. Okay, so pants first. Um, I have one pair of <coughs> no, one pair of black jeans, and these are the black jeans that I showed you in the junkyard haul in my last. Uh, Minimalism Journey video from Tiger of Sweden. One pair of black jeans. I have a pair of fake leather pants that are absolutely perfect. These are from Nelly.com. The only place where I could actually find a pair that I absolutely love. I wear these all the time and I, I don't know, I just love them. They're just uh, a little bit baggy, not super duper tight, super comfortable to wear. I also have two pairs of blue jeans. And I can't even say that they're different because they're not really. One pair from Lee and one pair from Chiquel. I don't know. These are a little bit higher in the waist than these. Basically the only difference. And a pair of light baggy jeans. Um, then we have this random pile here that's like kind of wear around the house but could get away with wearing it outside the house because they're not super casual but they're not fancy. This is a black soft turtleneck-ish shirt from Chiquel. We have a white cardigan-ish shirt from Chiquel. Another polo shirt, is that what they're called, from Ralph Lauren. The blue tank top that goes underneath the Philippa Coeur shirt. And a gray long cardigan sweater. That's very nice. This is my seasonal wear um, for summer. I have a blue dress from Philippa Coeur that I wore to a wedding. I have just a peplum black top that I usually wear for parties because I own one shirt for parties. <laughs> That's how much I party. A denim dress from uh, G-Star Raw. A black, very, very basic, about knee length dress from Primark. Um, this color, whatever this color is, dusty beige. <laughs> um, Ribbed dress from Chiquel, also comfortable. A pair of dress pants, I think they're called dress pants, like black suit pants, uh, only for formal occasions. One pair of denim shorts and a beige um, suede-ish skirt from Chiquel. Most of my clothes on here can also be worn in the summer, like shirts and stuff, so. It's not only those that I'll be wearing this summer. And then I have my casual pile whoa, right here. These are so not interesting at all. Um, a pair of gray sweatpants from Junkyard. The blue Los Angeles shirt that I showed in 500 different videos. A very hairy pair of black leggings from Chiquel, I believe. Adidas t-shirt. I'm such a great but first coffee person from Sarah. Um, this one sucks up so much hair that it's impossible to wear it anywhere 
except in the house because I love this shirt so much, but it's so hairy that I just cannot wear it anywhere. Calvin Klein sweatshirt also sucks up all the hair, all the drool, impossible to keep clean. So this has been bumped from nice clothes to casual pile because you just can't handle the life of having a dog. A cashmere gray sweater. Another shirt from Zara, more hugs, says on the pocket here. Gray t-shirt that says the book was better. A pair of leggings from a junkyard. And last but not least, in my closet 2017 is the camo set from Mad Lady that literally everyone has. It feels so liberating not to be suffocated by clothing. So that, my friends, was all for today's video. Now you know exactly what clothes I own and if you ever want to know where anything is from in any of my videos, then just go to this video and reference it and check out where it's from because I think I said where everything is from. I hope you guys liked this episode of my minimalism journey. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you would like to, I could definitely do some lookbook videos later this year to kind of style these in different ways. Not that I do that, but if you want to see how I style them, aka wear them, then give this video a thumb up and I will know that you that is something you want to see. So don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. My links to my social media are, as always, in the description below underneath this video. Until next time, have a super duper good one, guys. I will see you later.